everyone and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's Kiki, which is Lisa Renna calling Andy Cohen a liar, saying he was not truthful about the receipts that she brought to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion and what was in her manila envelopes. So shots are being thrown at each other. I think it's a pretty bold move for Lisa Renna to come out and call Andy Cohen a liar, basically. Girl, are you not tired yet? The reaching is real. But before we dive in, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And don't forget to shop our description box down below and our love collection. With that, let's dive right on in. So as we previously reported, Andy Cohen came out and said, hey, you know what? What was in the, you know, Lisa Renna's manila envelope had only to do with the Elton John, you know, debacle when it came to Sutton Strack, you know, who bought the seats, who didn't buy the seats, who said thank you, who didn't say thank you, blah, 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 beating a dead horse that quite frankly, nobody cares about anymore. Sutton already gave her receipts, laid Lisa Renna out, called her out for lying, and that she didn't say thank you for being the comp seats that Sutton did. It's over. It's done. We don't care. She didn't need to bring those, those receipts in the first place. However, we also called her out because, as you can see, she had been teasing that she had, quote, Aspen receipts allegedly against Kathy Hilton for her alleged meltdown. Again, we know Allegedly, she said the N-word, she said a homophobic slur, she said she was going to take down NBC, ABC, QVC, all of it. She was going to take down everybody. And we all were kind of like, you know what, Lisa Renna, you're probably lying. She also said that she allegedly had recordings of this, but again, she has yet to drop any recordings. So us fans were calling BS. We're like, okay, you say you have Aspen receipts. But yet, it's not being shown on the reunion. Why was it cut? Okay, why was it cut? So let's again listen to what Andy had to say for why the, you know, receipts that Elisa Renna allegedly had was cut from the reunion. And then we'll listen to Lisa Renna's claim that Andy is lying. So again, let's listen to Andy. Then we'll listen to Lisa Renna. Okay, you guys, here we go. But when Lisa Rinna arrived at the Beverly Hills reunion, she did have a manila envelope full of receipts. Yeah. And there we're talking about this. are, there's a lot of speculation about what was in the manila envelope. Let me tell you that what was in the manila envelope was uh, receipts relating to the Elton John AIDS Foundation ticket snafu. Okay. And we just wound up cutting it all out. And by the way, people are asking, why didn't you talk about this? Why didn't you talk about this for longer? There were a lot of decisions made in the edit to cut down many conversations. I will say pretty much every topic we beat to death uh, because that's what we do. We were there. That reunion, we shot until about 10 at night. So we filmed for a very long time. We talked about a lot. We had a lot to get into three episodes. And so if it had been any longer, I feel like everyone would have complained that it was too long. Yeah. But now people are complaining, why didn't you talk about this more? Why didn't you talk about that more? Clearly, Andy said it was about Elton John. It was about, you know, the ticket snafu. It was about Lisa Renna trying to clap back at Sutton. However, Lisa Renna went on to say, and this was on all about the Real Housewives, says, hey, Lisa, whatever happened to the envelopes you had at the reunion, did they come out or did someone come in and tell you you can't use them? She goes, they edit, she goes, they edited it out. I used them. I had them out. Andy looked at them. It was a whole thing. Cut right out. Okay. 
Now, you would think what she's referring to is the Elton John receipts. Now, let's listen to what Lisa Renna said was actually in the receipts. Okay, let's listen. I had two envelopes, and one had receipts from two text chains. One I was texting with Erica because she asked me where I was and what had happened to me. And Kyle was there with her, so she knew exactly what was happening at the house and what had just gone down. And then the other was a text chain with my assistant and one of my best friends. They were asleep, so I couldn't reach them. So I was telling them exactly what had just happened in that house. I believe it's eight pages long once I printed it out and trying to figure out what the fuck to do. There you have it. Two envelopes, not one, two. Just keeping it real. Uh, I had two envelopes, and one had receipts from two text chains. One I was texting with Erica because she asked me where I was and what had happened to me. And Kyle was there with her, so she knew exactly what was happening at the house and what had just gone down. And then the other was a text chain with my assistant and one of my best friends, they were asleep, so I couldn't reach them. So I was telling them exactly what had just happened in that house. I believe it's eight pages long once I printed it out and trying to figure out what the fuck to do. There you have it. Two envelopes, not one, two. Just keeping it real. She's just keeping it real. However, Lisa Renna, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I have two big reasons why I don't believe you, Lisa Renna. The first is, like we say in show business, your response is too on the nose. It's too on the nose. It's too trying to check all of the boxes of the issues we've had with your alleged receipts and your alleged account of Kathy Hilton's breakdown. The first part of that is this. Kathy already came out and read you for filth on um, social media and in her interviews where she was saying, well, if you were so afraid, if you had to lock yourself in your room, if you now allegedly have PTSD, if you thought I was having a psychotic break, if you were so afraid for your life, why didn't you call Kyle? Say, hey, Kyle, your sister's having a mental breakdown. I'm scared. Come get her. Why didn't you wake up Mauricio, who was allegedly asleep, sleeping in the house? We don't really know where Mauricio really was because the next morning he didn't know what was going on. But that's a whole different video. We already did that. Why didn't you wake up Mauricio if you were so afraid? Why didn't you call production? Why didn't you call security? Why didn't you call 911? Why didn't you call or do anything to anyone other than just do this half-ass text exchange with Erica being like, oh my gosh, Kathy said all this stuff about Kyle. And Erica's like, OMG, wow, okay. Like, this is the thing, you know what I mean? If everything you're saying went down the way you said it went down, why didn't Kyle say, oh my God, Kathy's having a psychotic break. Let me go home. Oh my gosh, uh, Lisa Renna, you're so afraid. All this stuff is going on. Let's call someone to come and intervene. None of that happened. None of it. Why did, you know, you said that you recorded it, but where are the recordings? So to me, Lisa Renna's account of the receipts is trying to answer those questions on the back end. Oh, I, you know, Kyle was right there with Erica, so she knew what was going on. Oh, I was texting with my assistant and one of my best friends, but they were asleep. But I was letting them know exactly what was going on right when it happened. Girl, you're lying. You never said that before. You never said that before. All of a sudden now you have these text exchange with your assistant, with your best friend. Why didn't you say that months ago? So again, it's too on the nose. You're trying now to find an excuse for what people are calling you out on when your BS doesn't make sense. And the number one reason why I don't believe you, Lisa Renna, is because why don't you just drop the receipts now? Why don't you just drop them now? 
if you have the time, energy, and effort to get on your Instagram and do a weird filter talking about, I text, there's eight pages, drop the eight pages, drop them, screenshot them, do a YouTube live, do an Instagram live, do an Instagram story. We know you got booted off of Twitter or you deactivate your Twitter, whichever happened, you can't tweet about it, do an Instagram story about it. Do a post. Do a carousel post so we can slide right on through and we can take our own screenshots. If these alleged receipts actually exist, drop them. Drop them. You had no problem dropping your text exchange with Erica, which conveniently was, again, a big nothing burger. All you said was Kathy was upset about Kyle. And that was it. That's pretty much all you really said. And then you tried to lie, like, I'm locking myself in my room. Girl, bye. We already saw you foreshadow it before with Sutton and all that when you said, oh, I need, I, I need, you said you needed to stay at Kyle's and you needed a room with a lock. Why? Did you already plan to say you had to lock yourself in the room? Hmm? Because people always tell themselves, why did you need a room with a lock? Why did you have to say it? Does It's not adding up, Lisa Renna. It's not adding up, boo-boo. If you have the receipts, drop them. Stop flapping the lips and drop the receipts. But you haven't. You haven't dropped the alleged recordings. You haven't uh, dropped the alleged text exchange with your assistant, the alleged text exchange with your, um, quote, best friend, whoever that is. We've never seen you have a friend on the show, so who's the best friend? The only friends you've ever had on the show is the other castmates. So who's this friend you're talking about? Drop them. You don't need to be on the reunion to drop the receipts. You could have dropped them any time over the last, at this point, coming up on a year. Because Aspen happened in January and we're now in November. You could have dropped them over the last 11 months and you haven't. But now you want to say Andy is lying about what was in the envelopes? Now you're really playing with fire. Now you're really playing with flat fire. Now you're really spiraling. Because this is the thing. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Even if you had these, quote, Aspen receipts, why are you now going to publicly call Andy, who uh, seemingly you still want to be your boss, because I know you still want a diamond. Why are you calling him a liar? I would just... Silence is golden, Kathy told you. Silence is going, golden. Shut it up, Lisa Renna. Just shut it on up. Now you're feuding with Andy? If Andy wanted to say the receipts were about were about um, Elton John, and that's why we cut him, you should have just let him say that and just let it keep popping on because even if you're telling the truth now you're really going to war with Andy and I don't think that's a war you're gonna win sweetheart that you're not gonna win that you're not gonna win it the little sympathy he was having for you clapping at your Eminem post about being the biggest bully I wonder how he feels now that you're out here calling him a liar Lisa Renna you're about to meme yourself real quick real real quick Okay, you guys, I'm going to do my quick outro, but stick around because I will be hanging out. If you want to um, hear what the candy canes are saying, I will read some of the candy cane comments, but I'm going to do a quick outro because I will be uh, making this a shorter video as well. So for everyone who's watching this on the replay, be sure to comment down below. Who do you believe? Do you believe Andy or do you believe Lisa Renna? Um... Also, why do you think Lisa Renna, if she has these alleged receipts, why doesn't she just drop the receipts right now? Just drop them if you got them. Drop it like it's hot. You don't have to say Andy is lying. You could have just quietly dropped the receipts and let the receipts speak for themselves. Do you think the fact she's not showing receipts means she ain't got them? And what do you think the repercussions will be for her calling Andy a liar? Do you think Andy will come out and clap back at Lisa Renna's claims that he's lying? 
So before you comment down below, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a kiki is always better with community. And don't forget to check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. So as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. All right, kitty canes. All right, you guys.